Welcome to the mat, welcome to your practice, welcome to my channel, the best place to practice holistic yoga for your body, your mind, and your soul. This is a full body stretch where we will use a strap for almost the entirety of the practice. So you will need a strap in order to participate with this class. If you don't have one yet, I highly recommend you add it to your toolkit. At the end of this class, it's my hope that we all feel physically, energetically, mentally, and emotionally open and amazing and better able to tap into our wisdom and intuition and have moments of bliss. By the way, that's the entire kosha system that I just listed. So we're going to begin in an upright seated posture and I need your strap to be at shoulder width distance. And the way to measure that is to bring the thumbs to the interior of the strap, extend the arms in front of you and check yourself out. Is this shoulder width distance? If you need to pause this video to do that, please go ahead and make those adjustments. Otherwise, let's start in an upright seated posture and take a few breaths to get centered and transition into our sadhana, our spiritual practice. So coming upright, roots down, lift through the crown. Hmm, begin to bring your breath online. Feel free to sigh a few times out the mouth. I've taught my daughter how to sigh and it is so adorable. We take big, deep breaths together. And she's super dramatic, dramatic about it, which makes it even more adorable, but permission for us to do the same. Okay, bringing that strap around the thumbs here, and you'll rest the strap down low. On an inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, lower down. We're here for 10. Feel free to close the eyes or softly gaze ahead. You can reach the arms to whatever height feels best. I'm noticing that I'm going a little too high and it's creating some discomfort. So please discern what feels right for your body. Halfway there. Last two. And one. Rest with the arms down for a moment. <sighs> Inhale, bring those arms overhead. And shift over to the right, side body stretch. Inhale, back through center. Twist over to the left. Inhale through center. Let's do that four more times. Inhale. Exhale left. Inhale. Exhale right. Inhale. Exhale left. Keep the hips rooted down, back through center. Take it over to the right. Inhale, exhale left. Inhale, exhale right. Hold here, whole breath. Inhale, exhale left. Whole breath. Back through to center, release the arms down. Take the strap away and do some shoulder circles. Move in the opposite direction. Pick that strap back on, up once again. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, twist to the right now. You won't go very far. Back through center, over to the left. Back through center, inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Pause for a moment. Inhale here. Exhale right. Inhale through center. Exhale left. Inhale. Exhale right. Inhale. Exhale left. One more time each side. Back through to center, release the strap. And now bring the strap behind the body. Again, you'll wanna bring both thumbs to the interior and I'll turn so you can see me here. On an inhale, lift your arms away from the body. Exhale, set them back down. Inhale, lift them away. Exhale, back down. Last two. Last one. Beautiful. And now bring the strap into both hands. On an inhale, we'll lift up onto our knees and knees are hip width distance here. We'll lift up onto our knees and bring our arms overhead with the strap. And then as we soften the hips back over the heels, the strap will come behind us. As the strap comes behind us, our grip on the strap will absolutely widen. On an inhale, come up onto the knees, reach the arms high. Exhale, arms fall behind you as the hips rest back on the heels. Inhale, lift back up, arms reach overhead. Exhale, lower down. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale. Two more. Last time. So much opening happening. Beautiful. Now set the strap across the very top of the mat here so that it's available to us. And then meet me in downward facing dog. We'll take five breaths. Make any movements that feel authentic to you or hold. Five breaths here. Last two. Last one. Gaze forward, tiptoe those feet to the top of the mat. Lower down, ragdoll hang. Maybe cup both elbows, sway from side to side. On an inhale, lift up halfway. Keep the right hands down, the right knee bent. Inhale to open up to the side, reach left fingertips high. Left hand comes down, switch to the opposite side. Left knee bends, right arm reaches. And lower down, roll the body up, stack the vertebra. Find that strap, reach it overhead. Side body stretch over to the right. Inhale through center, over to the left. Take that strap behind you. Keep the left arm high and the right arm reaching down and switch up the clasp so that the right palm is facing back and use the strap here to open the chest. 
switch sides. Reach the arms high, and as you fold forward, you'll set the strap down. Again, keep it up towards the top of the mat here. Step the right foot back, soften the right knee down. Take hold of your strap. Inhale to lift up for low lunge. Use the strap as leverage to lift up through the sides of the waist to lift the sternum, to broaden across the collarbone as the hips sink down, but also as the legs stay firm. Set that strap down, step back, downward facing dog. One breath. Step the right foot through, same thing, other side. Low lunge, right knee forward, left leg down. Find your strap and lift up into Anjaneyasana. Energetically draw the knees towards one another to support the pelvic region. Lift up out of the sides of the waist. Feel the backside body reaching up towards the ceiling. Last breath. Exhale, hands reach forward. Step back into plank pose. Lower all the way to the belly. Maybe the knees support you as you lower. Reach that strap all the way in front of you. Use both hands to clasp it. On an inhale, we'll lift our legs and our arms overhead. On an exhale, we'll lower back down. The arms will rest atop the glutes here. Inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, arms lower back towards the glutes as the legs and chest lower down. Inhale, lift everything up. Exhale, arms lower back towards the top of the mat. Four more times. Release the strap, stack both hands, forehead rests atop the hands and wiggle those hips. Maybe bend the knees, windshield wipe the legs from side to side. <sighs> Push back child's pose. <sighs> and meet me in downward dog. Reach that right leg back and high. Bend the knee, open the hip. Enjoy this stretch. Maybe straighten the right leg and then bend the right knee. Last breath. Square off the pelvis, right knee towards right nose. Step the right foot through, find that strap again. We're in a runner's lunge. Strong foundation supports you. Lift up into crescent. Take that strap overhead. Back knee can be bent. Last breath. Lower down. You choose. You can take a vinyasa here or step back to downward dog. Find what you need, please. We all meet in Adho Svanasana. Lift the left leg high. Bend the knee, open the hip. Last breath. Square the pelvis. Knee towards nose, get your strap before you lift up. Firm the foundation and then rise up. 
Crescent pose. Last breath. Lower down, beautiful work. Step back, downward dog, option to flow. We'll all meet on our back. So once you get to downward dog, you can soften to the knees and swing the legs around and lie down. You will need your strap. Coming into big toe pose, Supta extend the right leg long. Wrap the left strap, wrap, wrap the strap around the left foot, the ball of the foot, and extend the left leg up. If this feels like too much, you can bend the right knee and plant the right foot down here. Left knee can definitely be bent. And we're reaching the left heel up towards the ceiling. Five breaths. Last one. Bring the strap solely into the left hand. Open the left leg out to the side here. Knee can be bent. I like to use my left elbow as a kickstand. Five breaths. Last two. Bring the left leg across all the way. If you have a piece of furniture or a block, that can be really helpful. I have a piece of furniture right here. Often this one is really stretchy. It requires a big range of motion. You could also place your left foot atop a block or a bunch of pillows. Three more breaths. For more sensations, send that left hip down towards the right foot. Ooh, yeah. And come back up through center. Bring both knees into the chest for a moment and create some knee circles on the ceiling. And let's move to the other side. Extend that left leg long. Find your strap, loop it around the ball of the right foot and extend the right leg straight up. We want the heel reaching towards the ceiling. Right knee can be bent, left knee can be bent. Settle in. Taking those five nourishing breaths. Strap coming into the right hand, open the right leg out to the side. Five breaths.
Bring that leg back through to center. Strap into the left hand now. I like to hit, send my hips over to the right a bit before reaching my right leg across. Five breaths here. Send that right hip down. Light comes back up through center, release. Let's windshield wipe the legs from side to side before we come into our final resting posture. Where you made that original loop, go ahead and widen it, not too much, but we'll bring it around the thighs above the knees. This is a favorite of mine for Shavasana as it creates a sense of containment. Often Shavasana can feel unsettling because we feel so vulnerable laying here still, which is something we don't do quite often. We don't want it too tight, but we also don't want it too loose, okay? Beautiful. If you've got a blanket or something, you could place it underneath the head for some added padding, added comfort. Soften in, shoulder blades reach down, palms of the hands reach up. And we'll rest here for a few minutes together. Let the back of the skull grow heavy. Face softens, gently swallow, whole upper chest relaxing into the mat, navel region soft, pelvis feeling held, supported and held. Legs relaxing into the safety of the strap. Heels connecting with the earth plane, feet splaying out. Allowing ourselves to be open, receptive, calm and centered. Integrating the movement, carving out a calm, centered state. Last five breaths.
Final two. Last inhale. <sighs> Bend the knees. Slide the strap off the body and roll to your favorite side. Bottom arm acts as a pillow. Hmm. Steeping ourselves in this full body stretch and the feeling that we now have. Calm, centered, relaxed. Open and receptive, coming to an upright seated posture. Roots down, lift through the crown. Hands into prayer, inhale for Om. <sighs> Gradually open the eyes. You can tell I'm very centered and calm. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat. If you're looking for a similar class, I have one right here where we use a block the entire time, which makes it super fun and different and challenging in new ways. So I recommend this class. And then if you like practicing holistically and learning not only the tools, but the teachings, get my yoga reset guide. It's in the description below. Thousands are already using it and I'd love for you to have it and to leverage it. Thank you for so, thank you so much for being here and I'll meet you back here to keep practicing yoga holistically together.